Hello, John from Bang & Olsen in Manchester and today we're going to set up this little Samsung TV with the Beoplay S8 2.1 speaker system so we can get Bang & Olufsen sounds on pretty much any modern TV. Let's do it. So we'll start off with the actual satellite speakers. These little passive speakers formed from one ring of aluminium which is pressed into the shape so the very very strong rigid cabinets which means all the energy from the drive unit inside isn't wasted by vibrating a, a cheap flimsy cabinet. If we pop this cover off, this is the optional grey, it will actually come with a black cover out of the box but you can get all sorts of different colours. This is the mid-range slash tweeter and we've got a positive and negative speaker terminals and the speaker wire hides down the pole in the stand. These are optional floor stands that cost about £200 but this will come with a table stand out of the box or wall brackets so you should have everything you need to get you going. At the heart of the whole thing we've got the Beoplay S8 subwoofer. So this is an 8 inch ported subwoofer in this cylindrical cabinet again because it's very strong and we can minimise resonance through the cabinet. This houses the amplifiers for the two satellite speakers which are two 140 watt Class D digital lamps and it has its own dedicated 280 watt Class D digital lamp for the 8 inch base unit and then the base port is actually vented through the top of the cabinet here underneath this gap. The cover just comes off and you can get a cover to match the cover of the satellite speakers. So here we can see the bottom of the subwoofer, this is where all the connections go. So here we'll start this side, we have the mains power for the, the subwoofer and the amps for the speakers. We've got the speaker connections which come with their own proprietary plugs on the end of the cables for your left and right satellites. And we've got our input from the source which we'll go into further in a minute. And if we look at this part here. Here we've got adjustments, so this is our switch if we're running it from say a Samsung TV like we're doing today, we'll switch this to line and then we've got power link A and B which is for different uh, Bang & Olufsen equipment. We have our adjustment of the actual base level so if the subwoofer is placed in a corner that will artificially enhance the base so we can tone that down and put it into the corner position likewise for wall and free space. So we can tailor the sound output depending on your room and your, your acoustic environment. We have our phase switch, 0 or 180 degrees out of phase to eliminate standing waves. And we have our LFE level which is 0 decibels which is standard or plus 10 decibels if you've got particularly low output from the source. So also in the box we get the connection hub. It's a small little unit here, we've got the logo on top. And on the back we've got connections for your TV or audio device. So all we need, we've got power. We'll go into the setup button later. We've got an optical connection which we'll be using today for the Samsung TV. So if you've got a more modern TV with an optical out, perfect. If not, we can use the analog connection. So that's just a line in from anything with a headphone jack out, and this will plug straight in. And we've got our inputs and outputs uh, to the subwoofer uh, and to all of the devices. So the little Samsung's out of the box. I've got my uh, Toslink optical cable, so we just go into the digital audio out and then we get the connection hub and the other end of the cable just goes into optical. There we go. Then we need our RJ45 cable into the output socket and also not forgetting our power lead. On the subwoofer, this is the cable that connected into our connection hub that goes into the front speakers. Then we have our left and right satellite speakers with the speaker cables and the power lead. So now we have the Samsung up and running, we can go to settings, sound, and then we want to change the sound output to optical. So there we go, we have our little satellites, our subwoofer, the little Samsung's ready to go and it's taken me, I don't know, 30 seconds. So I've got the Samsung remote and just by pressing that connection button on the back of the uh, connection hub that we saw before, we can learn the volume up and down commands from the Samsung remote. So if we now play a clip, 
we can use the volume up on the standard TV remote and we've got fantastic Bang & Olufsen sound who needs a soundbar? it's so easy even Richard could do that so there we go easy setup high performance alternative to a soundbar the Bio Play S8 £1,099 that comes with a subwoofer that oh yeah excellent there you go Sir John I don't want you going thirsty oh, a bit of respect love it a little bit of brew from Russ there so yes what were we saying so a high performance upgrade to a soundbar uh, it's easy to connect you get everything you need in the box uh, but we can take care of all the installation should you want us to we can we can help you all the way so you'll see me in the next video isn't that right richard cheers mate